morning. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, a, a pigeon, one of the ones that has been living for years, actually, pairs of them have been living on the roof opposite. They haven't been able to get underneath the solar panels for a few years now because they've, they've ended up putting some wire around. And they walk up and down every day going, brr, brr, looking down and over and longing to get under. And I'm very fond of them. There's about eight of them. They're just what people call common garden pigeons. But anyway, the other day I came home and found that one had been... I think attacked by a cat that I saw running away and he was just dazed on the path and I just had to watch, watch him die actually I, 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 it was a horrible thing I didn't really know what to do but he looked so baleful and um, confused and he tried to fly and he couldn't but it was difficult to tell what had got him but anyway so he's ended up in a song of course part part of the song and uh, it's quite a jolly song in a way really but it's about where songs come from, I suppose, dreams, events, little tiny things like this that kind of make their way into my kind of songs anyway. So this is called Message on the Pillow. Girl on the live wire She's been singing for years Writing those half dream songs Through her veil of fear them in the morning on the hem of a pillow burnt offerings or dread sorrow they stayed for a while and the people came and went they stayed a while they left their messages warm Empty pillow. 